Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Peak Leader. Today I'm going to be showing you how to loop the Sabre plugin by Video Copilot. It's a free plugin. Download link in the description. Really good. Highly recommend it. Anyway, off, to, off with the tutorial. First off, you want to make your composition about 7 seconds long. Um, and then immediately drag this in so that the work area is 5 seconds. Um, this is so just we have some extra length um, to work with. And we want to make a new layer, solid, whatever color you want. <clears throat> because we're going to add Video Code Bullet Saber. Now that we have our Saber, we're going to change this to a preset that we want. I'm going to use, uh, there we go, Portal. Portal's good. Now we want to make a ring. So to do that, we're going to get our mask tool. And we're going to draw a mask on top of this. So to make it... Uh, a circle, you're going to hold shift and to center it you're going to hold control and then we're going to make it around that that looks good now we're going to go down to customize core and change the core type to a layer mask and it'll instantly make a circle um, now this is what we want for our steam artwork we'll put our name in it so just get the text tool, type anywhere your name enlarge it uh, auto center it if you have this align window here, you could auto center stuff. It's really useful. Uh, anyway, we're going to do layer, new solid, any color, and we're going to add saber again. We'll do cellular, no, we'll do cellular this time. Now we'll go down to customize core, and our core type will do text layer, and this one will do our people layer. Now you can see that's way too bright, so we're going to do mask low, mask core. Sure, and then you might actually want to do a different one. It's very dependent on the font you're using. Um, but yeah, just find one that looks good. One that's not too bright. Say Proton, and then under the glow, just turn that down a little bit. Um, make sure to hide this text layer then hmm just resize this make it a little bit bigger uh, the fatter the font the better so you don't want something like what's small something like that you want something more like um, no, a nice fat font basically so this is nice and fat uh, if you've got a long name well I feel bad for you because this won't work that well you can also make the um, this longer um, just to get that extra room with your name or something like that I'll we'll change it to something like not core. Core is just too big. Uh, something like haze. Yeah, haze is good. Um, all right. So now that we've got haze, we need to change this one. Uh, render settings. We need to turn the composite settings to transparent, and that way it'll just blend in. And for our name, we're going to turn the wind off just to. Basically, when you turn this into a GIF it can be really big because of the amount of uh, effects that's going on. So if you go down to customize core, no, nope. uh, glow settings, distortion, glow distortion. There we go. We need to turn our wind speed to zero and we'll do it for this one as well. Oh. Um, basically that'll just still the background so that it doesn't move as much. Um, we're just going to turn this, resize this a little bit smaller. And you can see that looks way better. Alright, now this is the hard part. We've got to make it so that it can loop. So what we're going to do is we're going to pre-compose it. And we're going to move all of the attributes into a new composition. This will take the mask in with it. Alright, now that we've got that. We're going to want to uh, go to 2 minutes... 15, right here, 
duplicate the layer. I'm going to cut it in half. No, why did I duplicate it? Anyway, we're just going to cut it in half. And then we're going to put this at the start. And this at the end. And as you can see, there is a tiny bit of overlap. So what we're going to do is we're going to press T. And we're going to keyframe the opacity. And then we're going to move forward to three seconds so we're going to turn the opacity down. Now what this does is slowly, ever so slowly fades between them in a way that you shouldn't be able to notice that well. And when it loops back to the start, it's like it's playing continuously because this auto goes to that. I'm just bring that in one frame. Oh no, needs to be there. All right. Now when we render that, that'll work. So, yeah. If you want to animate your name so that you don't have to do that with your name, uh, go down to here. This also looks cool. And you want to just turn down end offset to zero. And, oops. You want to keyframe it at zero seconds. Go into about a second. And turn it to 100. If you press T, it'll show, whoops, not T, uh, U, sorry. It'll show all keyframed effects. You can also move this in to frame 15 and then at 315 put another keyframe in and then at 415 turn it down to zero. And then when we render this through it auto draws your name in and it looks pretty cool. That might be too much uh, glow so just turn the uh, Distortion amount. No, we need to turn the glow down. So glow intensity multiplier. Just turn that down, maybe half. Anyway, that looks better. Just play with some settings, and uh, yeah, then that'll auto draw itself out. And this is this is how you make it loop. Um, if you're wondering. So yeah, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next video. Keep with her out. Yo, Joyride! Drop that shit in reverse!